Hello, good morning. It's so, should say good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 7th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, where do we stand? Uh, European markets certainly uh, at present uh, are uh, reducing, or should we say, reversing the actual rally on Friday. Uh, post NFP thus far. FTSE certainly higher, up 10 points, certainly holding ground. German DAX probably the weakest down, uh, certainly reverse 100 points from the highs. The French CAC certainly is now going into negative territory. The FTSE MIB IBEX stock 600 all under pressure. Asian markets overnight certainly stellar. The Shanghai up 0.5% along with the Hang Seng and the Nikkei up 0.5% as well. So certainly reacting positively to the stronger jobs data. In terms of US uh, indices as well, they certainly are responding positively as well, with the Nasdaq certainly pushing higher, up to 5,920 overnight, so the Nasdaq certainly starting to push higher. In terms of economic data this morning, let's just quickly go through the uh, chronological uh, events in terms of data that's certainly impacting the market. You've had German industrial production on the weaker side, so certainly coming under pressure. In terms of the CHF, CPI data came in in line, okay. Uh, UK housing data certainly came in weaker. European Centix investor confidence certainly came in stronger, or well, basically more or less in line rather than stronger. Uh, <clears throat> in terms of the um, the actual UK consumer spending certainly coming in weaker, Brexit concerns certainly remain, but the FTSE 100 certainly doing well due to iron ore rallying overnight, and obviously the uh, stronger jobs data certainly helping the commodity sector to a large extent, but it certainly is offset. The counter argument is that a stronger dollar certainly hurts commodities, so bear that in mind as well. Okay, so that's the status quo at present uh, in terms of the uh, European markets. Obviously, the FTSE is benefiting from the weaker euro, weaker sterling, and uh, eurozone certainly benefiting from that weaker euro. Although it is starting to reverse now, so again, to take that into consideration. Okay, so um, let's bring up the German DAX. Let's see where we are. So the pivot high that we've hit this morning, twelve three forty, probably three fifty overnight, certainly has reversed quite sharply. We are now coming into potential support at two hundred MA. Okay, so let's keep an eye on that. Okay, in terms of the market itself, the 60 minute chart certainly has the potential for an inverted head and shoulders formation. So again, you are looking at potential 50% retracement here now, and certainly is coming into support. So bear that in mind. Okay, so inverted head and shoulders uh, formation certainly is highly, highly probable here at present, especially given the fact that we've made a base at 12100. And now we certainly seem to be in this uh, downward, downward sloping potential wedge pattern. Let's see how it unfolds. A bullish engulfing candle certainly is holding from Friday. So again, we have to respect that for now. In terms of the French CAC, let's bring that up for you folks. Okay, the French CAC on the daily chart at present. We are certainly holding that key diagonal trend line resistance, although we did hit a pivot high at 5220 before we started to reverse here. 60 minute chart certainly holding that uh, double, double top potential resistance. Okay, the inverted head and shoulders formation certainly complete and the French CAC certainly starting to reverse. So let's see how far this reverses. In terms of the IHS, bear, bear that in mind, the pattern certainly has completed, so you are looking for a short squeeze now. 10-minute chart certainly has closed the gap and is actually heading lower, certainly looking very weak here now on the French CAC, especially given the fact that Mr. Macron's uh, potential approval rating certainly is plunging, so again, that certainly is an aspect as well. In terms of the Euro USD, let's just quickly bring that up for you, you certainly have a retracement of the pivot low at 1.1730, certainly you are retracing now back into that 1.1815 zone, so... Let's see how that market unfolds as well in terms of the euro. Certainly seems like the reaction was certainly overdone. Uh, but for now, we are now coming into potential resistance on the euro. And therefore, that should certainly help the European equity market as well. Okay. Right. In terms of the, um, in terms of the actual... Uh, Euro stocks now, let's just quickly go up to Euro stocks. Okay, Euro stocks certainly flushing from that pivot high as well. 60 minute chart at the moment, although we did actually put a higher high in, so again, bear that in mind. You've stopped putting in lower lows and lower highs. You've built a base here now at 3440. So any retracement certainly will be a buying opportunity. So the first potential retracement opportunity probably with 3490, then 3480, then 3470. But the day with the intention obviously of pushing even higher. The daily chart, let's just give you an insight there as well. Okay, daily chart certainly has built a base at 3440. You are now looking to potentially retrace now, push up 3580, given the fact that you are seeing a potential top in the euro if we are witnessing a bottom in the dollar. So again, a low in the dollar indicates European equity ripping higher. Okay, so that's where we stand in terms of the euro stocks. Quickly go to a 10-minute chart. We'll just observe. 
certainly a double top intraday uh, here okay three five one five and now the market is certainly set to reverse okay now in terms of the FTSE 100 last but not least FTSE 100 certainly is bullish uh, certainly has broken higher above that key resistance zone if you look at the daily chart you are now next potential resistance is seen around the 7540 7550 potentially even 7600 so again with a weaker sterling it certainly seems to be giving that stimulant stimulatory effect we broke past the key resistance initially at 745 broke past key resistance at 7515 the next potential resistance now is seen at 7545 and 7560 so watch out above in terms of FTSE uh, if the oil price can certainly remain and uh, the sterling certainly remains at this uh, low level then it certainly does uh, uh, spur the potential rally in the FTSE in the back of a weaker sterling and that's what everybody seems, seems to be focusing on in terms of the FTSE at present if to start to focus on the stronger dollar obviously post NFP then obviously that will certainly hurt the FTSE itself you do have an unfilled gap at 7512 next potential support below is seen here probably a key zone here 7500 and then obviously you've got support at the breakout 7485 okay so we'll, let's see how this unfolds okay in terms of economic data from the UK nothing really other than obviously Brexit talk certainly seems that Ms. Uh, Theresa May certainly has rejected the uh, the notion that she will uh, accept a 40 billion uh, dollar, uh, euro for Brexit bill that certainly is, has been negated okay and let's see how that unfolds again keep an eye on sterling keep an eye on oil uh, and obviously the uh, the news flow coming through we had fed we have uh, two uh, potential fed members we have Kashkari and Bullard really Bullard really is an external member but again comments from both of those certainly will move the dollar and which in turn obviously moves commodities which in turn moves the FTSE 100 so taking all that into account okay right i think that's a good summation really of european equities please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers download the app at the google play and the apple app store goodbye now.